this will serve as your bond hearing. The purpose of the hearing is for me to inform you of your rights, the nature of your charter, and to set your bond. You have the right to remain silent, so anything that you state here can be used in any future hearings or trials, as everything here is recorded as evidenced by the red light above. You also have the right to an attorney. If you cannot afford an attorney, you have the right to have one appointed to you. If you wish to be screened for appointment of an attorney, if you're released, that process is done at the Greenville County Courthouse through the Public Defender's Office. If you're not released, that process is done here at the jail. You also have a right to a trial by a judge or a jury. And it's your right and obligation to appear at any trial that's scheduled for you on these charges. Failure to appear for a trial could result in an additional criminal charge being lodged against you. Failure to appear for a trial on a misdemeanor carries a penalty of $1,000 in one year in jail. Failure to appear for a trial on a felony carries a penalty of $5,000 in five years in jail. You have general sessions of circuit court level charges, which means that you're entitled to a preliminary hearing. At the preliminary hearing, the state is required to present any evidence that they have against you to a judge, and the judge at that time will determine if the state has enough evidence to continue to move forward against you. If you wish to have a preliminary hearing, then that request has to be made within 10 days. If you fail to make that request within 10 days, then you lose your right to the preliminary hearing. And if for any reason these charges are dismissed, not prosecuted, or you're found not guilty, then you have a right to have these charges expunged or removed from your criminal history. Lastly, it is your responsibility to keep the court abreast of any changes that may occur with your contact information, as that's the only way for us to inform you of court dates, trial dates, or other information. So if your contact information changes and you do not update the court, you'll still be held accountable or responsible for any notices that go to old or changed addresses. So everything that I've just gone over, you'll receive on your paperwork at the end of this hearing, so you'll have this information at your fingertips. You will be asked to sign and initial confirming that you receive this information both verbally and in writing. Mr. Zach, you've been charged with driving under the influence or felony driving under the influence resulting in death, felony driving under the influence resulting in great bodily injury, hit and run resulting in death, and hit and run resulting in great bodily, great bodily injury. Felony DUI resulting in death is a felony which carries a maximum penalty of 25 years incarceration. Felony DUI resulting in great bodily injury is a felony which carries a maximum penalty of 15 years incarceration. Hit and run resulting in death is a felony which carries a maximum penalty of 25 years incarceration. And hit and run resulting in great bodily injury carries a maximum penalty of 10 years incarceration. You've also been charged with driving on the wrong side of the road. This is a misdemeanor which carries a maximum penalty of 30 days incarceration. Uh, Mr. Zach, because of the severity of the charges, at this level, your bond is going to be denied, and the circuit court will notify you of the date and the time that they will have your bond hearing on these charges. Do you have any questions, issues, or concerns, Mr. Zach? No, All right. My clerk will have some paperwork for you to sign and initial at that window to your left. 